Hello, welcome to the Dell Social Innovation Challenge. Through our competition and community, we're empowering the next generation of social innovators whose big ideas will change the world. I'm Susie Sosa, Executive Director of the Challenge, and I want to thank you for volunteering your time to be a judge in our program. Today, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know to become a certified judge for the entry round of the challenge. Our competition attracts thousands of entries each year. Don't worry, you won't have to read them all. You'll be part of a network of more than 200 judges around the world who help us to identify the projects that we should support. Let's get started. In early March, you'll receive an email from us with a link to your personalized judging page. After clicking on the link and logging into the site, you'll be automatically directed to your judging page, which contains everything you need to view and score the entries that have been pre-assigned to you. As an entry round judge, you'll be randomly assigned 15 to 20 projects. Each one should take about 10 minutes to assess. You don't need to review all your projects at once. Feel free to score some, have a snack, take a nap, finish up whenever you're ready. All of your completed scores are automatically saved on the site. Entry round judging is one week long. So remember, you must complete all your reviews by the deadline. Before you start reviewing and scoring projects, make sure you read your judging toolkit. This is a PDF we'll email to you. It has all the information you need about our competition and the judging process. It also includes sample project entries that you can review and score for practice. We've included our sample critiques for you to compare, but don't peek ahead. We hope that by practicing with these sample entries and comparing against our reviews, you'll get a clear idea of what we're looking for in an outstanding project. Students enter our competition by completing a project on dellchallenge.org. This is where they post materials to explain and support their idea. The minimum entry requirements are a headline, a 250 character summary, and a supporting photo. But most teams choose to provide more information Teams can also include a longer written narrative, short answers to our five key questions, and even a video. Keep in mind, more information doesn't necessarily mean the project's better, but generally, teams that put more effort into their project page tend to be more serious about their ideas and have a higher probability of success. As an entry round judge, you will assess eight questions. First, you'll rate how well you think the team answers five key questions on their project page. The five key questions are, what is your innovation, who gains the most, who pays, what is success, and how will you achieve it? You have three options to score the team's answers to each of these questions. One very clearly answers the question, two needs a little work, or three requires significant improvement. For example, as you review the project, you'll ask yourself, how well have the students answered, what is your innovation? Did they very clearly answer the question? Does it need a little more work, or do you think it requires significant improvement? Although the project page includes space where the team can answer these five questions directly, we suggest you review the entire project page before scoring the question. As you know, it's not always easy to explain an idea in one or two sentences, especially if your first language is not English. So if you find the team has answered the question better somewhere else, maybe in a sentence in a long-form narrative, or in something they said in their video, that's fine too. Look at the whole project when you assess how well they've answered each of the key questions. After you rate the five project questions, you'll answer three more general questions that really cut to the chase. These are simple yes or no questions about the overall quality of the entry. We want to know, in your opinion, is this an idea worth supporting? Should we advance it to the semifinal round? And do you think this team could be the winner? It's possible you might answer, yes, a project is worth supporting, but no, it's not ready to advance to the semifinal round. In that case, we would flag that project as one with a lot of potential and maybe a good fit for one of our mentoring and support programs. Once you've answered the eight questions, you're done scoring the project. Every year, judges ask us how they can be sure that an idea is worth supporting. Here are a few tips that might help. First, innovation doesn't have to be totally new. An innovation could be the introduction of an existing product or service to a new geography or for a new population. We suggest you focus more on the potential impact of the idea. If it's innovative, it should deliver significant improvements over the status quo. 
Second, focus on the big idea. Technical evaluations come in the semifinal round, so you don't have to verify students' claims. Instead, look for things like clarity and persuasiveness. Ask yourself, does this make sense to me? Could this possibly work? Third, evaluate the probability of success. Making an impact requires much more than a good idea. We want to support teams that are going to get results. Does the project page impress you? Do you really think they could pull this off? Fourth, trust your gut. For the past six years, our judges have consistently found the best projects. You'll know the great ones when you see them. You can find more tips, guidelines, and frequently asked questions in the Judging Toolkit. Thank you so much for taking your time to join us on this exciting adventure. We know how busy you are. For many of our students, the Dell Challenge is one of the only opportunities they have to propose their wild ideas and have them taken seriously. We believe that students can solve some of our world's biggest problems if given a chance. Thank you for helping us to find those innovators and for being part of the community whose audacious goal is to change the world.